I'm Sean McCafferty. My colleagues and I are presenting a clinical evaluation of a simple but novel solution to biomechanical errors found in Goldman type applanation tonometry. We are presenting Goldman Tonometry Error Correcting Prism, a clinical evaluation, which has been accepted for publication in clinical ophthalmology. The purpose of the study is to evaluate a correcting applanation tonometry surface, or CATS prism, in the clinical setting validating previously published mathematical modeling. This mathematical modeling showed a significant decrease in corneal biomechanical errors. It has been demonstrated even by Goldman himself 60 years ago that several IOP measurement errors are present. Those errors include corneal biomechanical errors of central corneal thickness shown here, corneal rigidity, and corneal curvature. The correcting applanation tonometry surface, or CATS prism, differs from the standard Goldman prism primarily in the contact surface. As shown here, the Goldman biprism has a flat contact with the cornea. The CAT stenometer prism depicted here is a replacement prism which fits any of the existing Goldman or Perkins tonometers without recalibration or alteration in measurement technique or interpretation. The primary difference is the contact surface, which is shown here to have a central concavity and annular convexity. This photograph demonstrates the difference in applanating surfaces. The flat Goldman prism surface is in the background and the CATS prism surface is in the foreground. Our methods center around validating the theoretical findings in mathematical modeling. Since it is a difficult proposition to compare the IOP measurements to a surgically placed intracameral transducer, we chose to examine the difference in IOP measurements between the CATS and Goldman prisms and correlate them to known biomechanical error parameters. Then we compared the correlated differences between the CATS and Goldman IOP measurements to the published error corrections for each of the parameters. Specifically, this was completed by measuring the IOP difference on 109 eyes over pressures ranging from 5 to 35 millimeters of mercury and correlating them to central corneal thickness, corneal rigidity factor, and corneal curvature. We demonstrate a correction difference between the CATS and Goldman prisms, which measures a higher CATS IOP in thin corneas and a lower CATS IOP in thick corneas, which is what would be expected. Note the IOP pressure difference is approximately zero for a nominal cornea of 550 microns. We demonstrate similar IOP difference correlations correcting for corneal rigidity and corneal curvature. We saw no difference in overall bias and repeatability between the two prisms. In conclusion, the CATS prism reduces Goldman CCT error according to the published Dresner CCT correction. Additionally, the CATS prism reduces the combined errors due to all the major corneal biomechanical error parameters. We believe the CATS prism has the potential to significantly increase the accuracy of IOP measurement obtained by Goldman tonometers and impact the clinical decision-making process. Furthermore, the prism may be particularly useful in non-standard corneas such as those with diseases like keratoconus, status post-LASIK, pediatric IOP measurement, and veterinary applications. Thank you.